Hi there, welcome back to Bampton Insight. Weight training is really important in Bampton, helping our on-court strength, such as our smash power or recovery out of a lunge, our functional movement patterns, and also reduces the risk of injury. However, Bampton requires a very specific type of weight training. You don't just want to get massive like this guy, because you won't be able to move around the court very quickly at all. So in this video, we're going to go through four very important weight exercises for Bampton players. So let's get to it. Now, before we get started, we're not qualified gym instructors, but we will give you some advice on technique in this video that our strength coach has given us. And if you're new to weights training, make sure you start with light weights and ensure you have good technique. We don't want anyone injuring themselves. So first up, we have lunges with a barbell on alternate legs, as Greg is showing you now. We do so many lunges in badminton, so this exercise is a really great way to improve the strength of your lunge and glutes. Doing the lunges with a barbell as opposed to dumbbells means you have a better posture and you have to engage your core more like you need to do in badminton. Some key points for this exercise are to make sure your knee doesn't collapse as you lunge, keeping it aligned with your front foot. And also, you should power out of the bottom of the lunge explosively as you want to create quick movement habits. Next up, we have two variations of med ball slams. We're sneaking two exercises in one here. The first variation is to slam the med ball into the ground. This is such a great exercise for badminton players as you use your shoulders and core to generate the slamming power, which you also need to do in badminton. As you can see here, Greg is generating extra power by going up onto his toes and using everything he's got to slam the ball into the ground. The second variation complements this first exercise as it works on your rotational power, which is what you need for a bigger smash. A key point for this exercise is to keep your hips facing forwards and rotate both your core and shoulders. You want to use these to generate the rotational speed and power, not just your legs. Our third weight exercise is a step up with a dumbbell press. This exercise targets the main muscle groups and joints which are used all of the time in badminton. You need to use your leg and glute power to explode off the box from your first step, really driving your hips forwards as you can see Greg doing here. You then use this momentum to press the weight above your head on the opposite arm to the leg you're driving off from. In this movement you're strengthening your posterior chain and also stabilising your body with your core. All of these elements are really important in badminton. The final exercise is a single arm dumbbell row. A key point for this exercise is to use the back of your shoulder to pull the weight up rather than your bicep, tricep or any other area. This will strengthen the back of your shoulder which is using the deceleration of your overhead shots and also for your backhand. We don't do lots of heavy upper body lifting being badminton players, but badminton is such a great sport as it doesn't discriminate too much in shape and size. Players with bigger arms can use their brute strength to generate power in their smash, but players with skinnier arms can often generate the same power by having great timing, flexibility in their shoulders and the ability to generate a fast swing speed. Now these four exercises are strength exercises lots of top badminton players are doing regularly. There are of course more areas that you can work on in your weights program such as your core, your shoulder strength and also your leg strength and we've done videos on these and you can find these in our playlist here. And if you want to see examples of full weights programs which you can follow that have been designed specifically for badminton players by literally experts in the field, then head to our Patreon page. We'll include a link in the description below. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on future videos of how you can improve your badminton both on and off the court. And we'll see you on another video. And if you're new to weights training, make sure you start... And if you want to see examples of weights programs which you can follow that have been designed specific... <laughs> uh... Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to... Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on. So you don't